what you take. When you get to the village, tell my mother that I sent my greetings. And that I will do everything within my powers to come and see her soon. Okay? Papa, this is just 50,000 naira. And so? But I told you, Mama has been admitted in the hospital already. Uh huh, give me a This money will not be enough. They demanded for a deposit of 100,000 naira, which we have already borrowed. Not to even talk about the other expenses. Yet you gave me just 50,000 naira. Most of the time, when you, when you sound this way, I begin to wonder. Am I the only one she gave birth to? Are you not a daughter? What's your problem? But seriously, I don't understand you. I don't understand you. Do you know this money will not be enough? You know it. Then you complete the money. Complete the money and pay. If you complete this money and pay, this is what I have. If you complete this money and pay, will the hell stop to exist? I'm asking you. Will you stop to exist? Why is it that each time we ask you for money, she will always react this way? Why? How do I? How do I? You must you remind me of my predicament, brother? Who says predicament? You know I don't have money because if I do, I won't even come here the first place to ask you for money. I don't have money. Listen to me. What you have here is what I have in my house that I've given you. If you like, bring out your two eyes down here. More money will never come out. I have given you what I have. If what I have given you is not enough, you complete this money. Let me tell you something. I don't want to meet you here when I return today. I already planned how I'm going to spend this week. And Ugoshi was never included in that budget. So the same way you bundled yourself into this house, try and bundle yourself back to where you came from. Because if I come back and you are still here, you will not like how I'm going to handle you. This money we are talking about is not for my personal use. It is not for my personal use to settle Mama's hospital bill. And I've given you what I have for you to settle the bill. Go ahead and settle the bill. What's your problem? Every time she's telling me that uh, you remind me of the predicament. What predicament? You have your hands, you have your legs. Why can't you make money? What's your problem? I have you Gucci. Does it mean you have been giving it to them free of charge? Is it free have been giving it to them? Or are you telling me to my face that my sister is so useless that men are taking her free of charge? She can't even have money to pay for normal bills. Just so, so because I have money, I, I, I will have to kill myself because I have a sister like you. God punish you then. Don't, don't, stop making me angry. Until I come back and you are still here. You will not tell me to be in the whole of Ontario. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's been a did you travel? Oh. For where? No work. You know grimy. <laughs> Please sit down. How are you? I'm fine. Ah, she just came with Mama day before yesterday. You mean you left Mama at home? Uh -uh. Don't you know who my mother is? Stop <laughs> born. She said what would she be doing in the midst of women that do nothing but gossip? <laughs> my dear, Saloon has been branded as a place of gossip. I don't blame her. No, we talk with the talk. So. That's all, my dear. Please, eh, you see this here. I'm tired. 
I need something refreshing. What about that uh, Afro human hair we talked about? Okay, I have it. Uh, hair, please. Never. Quick, 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 quick. Please, tell me that hair to Excuse me. What do you think you're going to do? You want to abandon me here? No, I'm sorry. Let me just get it. I'm coming back. Madam Grace, is this how you treat your customers? Huh? Please, don't be offended, eh? Um, Neka, please, continue with her. Let me get it myself. Mm. It's okay. I'm going to take my first shot. Okay. Madam, I don't dare here since now. See me see the gate. Nobody I don't come in, nobody I don't go out. Someone was at the house. The doors were opening and slamming. Okay, okay, what now? <laughs> now the cook, Uva. It's not the cook. Eh? The cook is off duty. She's not even at home. Okay, madam, now you don't they make me the fear. Eh? I don't dare here since now. Nobody I don't come out, nobody I don't come inside. It's not open for anybody. Please, go around the house. Search the whole compound. I need to be sure. Please. Go and search. Out there was just not about it. That's your business. <sighs> but Annabelle, it's not like the girl was asked to leave you and attend to her. I just hate the way she carries herself about in town. <laughs> Listen, Uchu. It's not her fault. If you marry a man as wealthy as Udubandu, I'm sure you will do more. You will do worse. I know you. You know that's not true. He is just the complete opposite of her. He's very humble and accommodating. Ha! Huh. I wish all rich men were like that. Listen, Anamel. I beg of you, do not hate her. Because Udu Bundle is the reason why we're still employed in that bank. If you continue to hate the wife, she might talk to the husband in betrayal from my bank. And you know what a cherished customer. She doesn't know me, so no worries. And there's no freaking way she would ever find out how close her husband is to me or to us. You think so? Do not get it twisted. The sword is a small place. <sighs> Would you? Right now, I'm so not okay. So just spare me the time and cut the crap. What is always huh? wrong with you? When we're talking, you're always not in the mood. What is that? Why are you getting angry? I'm not angry with you. I just have issues with her. I'm not angry with you. I just have issues with her arrogant persona. <laughs> Listen, it's not her fault. You, you shouldn't just, she should be the least of your worries. 
You know why? Because she does not even know you exist. Yes, she doesn't know you exist. <laughs> Mama has come again. This one is Mama's funny story, part three. <laughs> Mama, there is absolutely no way all these things you have just said is possible. How can doors be opening and slamming just like that? It's not possible. Amanda, if I were a child, I would have run out of this house today with what I saw. There was this figure that looked like a woman. <laughs> Even the gate man tried to make me believe oh, I didn't see anything, but I know what I saw. I'm a me fanful. <laughs> Mama, I have lived in this house for three years and nothing of what you have just described, nothing like it has ever happened. I've never experienced such mysterious... I don't even know what to say. It has never happened though. I don't... Are you sure you're not hallucinating? More about catch Hallucinate. Well, how else would I explain what you have just told me? Those can't just be slamming and opening up on their own free will. It's not possible. Uh, please, sister. I am going to sleep. I don't have time for Mama's visions. Hmm? I need to go and rest. So, Amanda, I'll pick on you. I'm not going to do this. Please, sit. <laughs> What is happening now? Hmm? How? I mean, don't be, be, pretend as if you don't know what I'm talking about. Huh? Ma, I don't know what you're talking about, except if you're still talking about doors opening and slamming. Uh -huh. You said I was hallucinating. I agree. But what is happening with you and Emeka? You've been married for three years now. Yet no cry of a baby. Uh, nothing is happening. It's, it's bothering me, but uh, no refrain him. I will go to the hospital to check if all is well. Every time we've been going, we've been going. We're hoping and believing God for now. Amanda, you talk of God. Do you still know God? Do you still pray? Of course, Mama, I still know God. I Since I came to this house, all you concern yourself with is, is business, fashion, clothes. What else? Mama, I still know God. I still pray. True. You can't lie to yourself. 
you've totally forgotten about God. And that is the worst thing that can happen to any Christian. You need God, woman. You need God. Be cool. Oh? Okay, Mama. I'll, I'll try my best. Okay. I'll keep praying for you. Oh? I thank God that you married a wealthy husband. I don't want that to get into your head. Oh? Okay. Yes. You know what? Thank you. One minute. I'm not busy. <laughs> <laughs> my God. Can you go? I'm beyond lucky. I am blessed. I'm blessed to have Udo as my husband. You don't, you don't understand how happy I am. I'm telling you. But I just, I just wonder why those women, his ex-wives, I, I wonder why they left him. Well, from all you have told me about him, I don't think any woman that finds herself with him will want to leave. If I tell you it doesn't bother me, it's, I'll be lying. It really worries me. Udu is every woman's dream. I mean, what doesn't he have? He's such a nice man with a gentle heart. Why would any woman want to leave him? Who don't like better thing? Come on. That shouldn't bother you. Sometimes in life we make wrong choices before getting it right. So, let's just say Udu made the wrong choices with the previous women. Just drifted, that's it. Um, what is it? Okay, um, tell her I'll join her shortly. I'm coming. Yeah. Okay. Come on,
Why be that? Why be that? Now nah? you know getting name. Ain't no sense to be this. He just know he know this work. Even as a gate man, you live in a room that even thriving businessmen cannot afford. Do you in your wildest dream think this is ordinary? Somebody don't know, I know they see, nay, don't you? Eh? They say you don't know more of Leo. Eh? I roasted you. Please come and carry these things, please. You're even taking Chiamaka along, and you know I always I'm always lonely whenever Emeka travels. It's okay, I can't force you. It's just that Emeka would have loved to see you when he returns from Dubai, but no, no problem. Thank <laughs> you. 
What is it? If I like say something, he don't spoil. Spo something he don't go wrong, go. What has gone wrong? <laughs> but I mean, you know, say he did inside home follow me that time. He <laughs> did for my room. I hear no. I come out. I no see anybody. Ma. <laughs> Some other time when they hear voice, I no they see anybody. And a woman voice. What woman? Who are you talking about? Madam, it be like saying that that woman when they walk out from compound, they walk out, they walk out, they wear white. What? What? What are you talking? Who madam, walks around the compound doing what? See, madam, I don't see him face so more. The woman is fine. He fine like you. Will you shut up and tell me what exactly your problem is? <laughs> madam, I be telling you, he don't do work out, he don't do hear voice, he don't work out, he don't work out. He just be like, say, the house, he don't do condemn, he don't do tongue condemn house. Everybody, he don't work out. Musa. Madam. Come. I said, come. Musa, let it not be that you have smoked something or drank something. Because I will kill it and I will throw you out of this compound. Shut up! Do not say a word. All I want from you is to be alert at all times. Do your job and at night you sleep, wake up and continue. That is what you're paid to do. Now, out of the sight. Do not utter a word. Do not utter a word. Get out. I said don't say a word. Mama, you're getting me confused there. Why did you order the driver to stop us here, Mama? As I sat in that car, the same aura that enveloped the house was visibly present in the car. That was why I asked the driver to stop us, so that we can continue the journey on our own. You're sounding weird, Mama. What are you talking about again? Chemaka, something is happening in that house. And even Amanda is not aware of it. Something like what? I think her house is being haunted. <laughs> Mama, you are getting me scared. How can sister's house be haunted? <laughs> what she needs is prayers. Yes. They should be fine. Mama, you are getting me scared. In my water, Chiamaka. You see, what an elder sees sitting. A child standing on the mountain top will never see it. Mama, you're getting me scared. What she needs is prayers. Mama, you are getting me scared. I am going to see the Holy Ghost priest at your cousin. She will be fine. You are talking as if the situation is really bad now. From what I saw and felt in that house, the situation is terribly bad. you are a goat and your father was a cow. That is why you don't have anything inside your brain that every day you are causing trouble here. Why are you pushing me? Do you want me to kill you before your time? Imagine, oh, will I run away from you just because you are my, you are, you are my neighbor? Every day is either one problem or another. I can't freaking a line now. I, I know the game plan. 
You want to provoke me so I can slap you and be fine. You know the rules of the market that I cannot slap anybody in the market. But do me a favor. Try this nonsense when the market is closed. And let me kill you and bury you somewhere. Idiot. Okoloka, you have expired. You, you, you are only Okoloka when, when it comes to wickedness. On your job. Boy, I don't know. What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm going to fear, man. Who do you want to kill? Who do you want to kill? Nobody more, more, more about him and expire. Nobody, you look at me to say that I am expired in the Monday. If I kill this man now, he'll be a goose, man. I don't This man has finished me. This man has finally made me very irrelevant in this market. I used to be the highest. I used to be the one people praised because I was the richest. I used to be the Opura car of Onesha Do. I earned that name. Now the name has become meaningless. All because that bastard, that useless often thinks that he can throw his word around and bribe the people. Anaboyudu Bondo. Oneko. Oneko. What is this? Leave our husband alone! Yes, leave our husband alone or I will not leave you. What are you talking about? I am I'm not with your husbands. Who is talking about husbands? Eh? We are talking of the same man. Leave him alone for us! Uh, uh, what are you talking about? Which husband? Ah! 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 It's a dream. Oh, God, please. Please. Oh. Oh, the bundle is a very lucky man. I seriously wonder why you are calling it luck. I don't understand it. You and I know that as far as a mecha would do is concerned, that luck does not exist. Why are you talking like this? Obenka from Naya. This is the same person we have known almost all our lives. We can still remember how his parents died the same day. And how his uncle who was supposed to take care of him, threw him out, rejected him. Now we know about all this, it's not news. And you, you will still remember how he labored under his master who settled him with practically nothing. And how he strong at that in Booker Market, feeding from hand to mouth. What? Let me ask you, why are you recounting all this? I, 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 am, I am telling you all this for you to understand you are very wrong when you say a mecha would do is a lucky man. So, what point are you trying to make? Now you are asking the right question. I want you to look deeper. And you will realize that that same man we call our friend, a mecha would do, the pondo man of Abdo, there is something wrong somewhere. The same man that was struggling from hand to mouth suddenly has become so rich in this hour on a shower that those of us that made money before him are now looking like babies before him. And you are telling me that everything is normal? Does that make sense? <laughs> exactly my point. And that's why I said he's a very lucky man. Luck finally smiled at him. Oh. What's the problem? Oh, man, careful, Nanya. This has nothing to do with luck. There is something wrong somewhere. Why are you not seeing it? Okay, for whatever it is worth, I am happy for him. At least if not for anything, for the fact that you and I don't have to contribute money for him to eat or to help him. Honestly, I am happy for him. I am. Happy for him. How I wish I can say the same. Unfortunately, I can't. Because his affluence, you know, 
his affluence is now like a threat. Can you imagine one of these boys in the men market looking me in my face to tell me that I, Okuloka Nonechado, a man old school, simply because in his judgment I am not as generous as uh, Udubandu. Can you imagine that kind of insult? Now I see your point. That bothers you, doesn't it? But really, I don't think you should be bothered. Forget about that. Those boys in the market are laid back and they can say all nasty things about everything. They are very bold. Listen, everyone cannot be a Dubondo. You cannot be a Dubondo. Everyone gives according to how his heart directs him. Seriously, I am very bothered. I am very, very bothered because his generosity is detrimental to me. Uh, I think very detrimental to me, and Udupondu uh, is beginning to take the shine off me in the same market. Okoro, if you ask me, I think you should forget about all that. I don't think that one is a problem. Yeah? Listen, let's talk about something else. Please, just drink it. Let's talk about something else. Hi, Jay. Well, good morning, Annabelle. <laughs> How may I help you? Oh, I'm here to see your boss. Well, he's not back yet. Back from where, please? You mean you don't know? He traveled to Dubai. Oh, really? Yes. Um, when is he likely to be back? He will be back before the week runs out. even tell me that he was traveling. Huh. Are you okay? Oh, I'm fine. I guess I'll check back within the week. Okay. Do have a nice day. Thank you. You too. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Do have a nice day. Nenuya. The bank. The old people. Professional prostitutes. Honestly, pretty, I am worried. I believe it's nothing. Just one of those dreams. No, 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 no. I wish I could say the same, but I don't. I don't feel it's just one of those things because I know a pastor that said it's not good to have nightmares during the day. I'm sure it's one of those his ex-wives. Eh? Why are they after me? Why do they want to kill me? My dear, I don't see any reason why your husband's ex-wives would want to harm you. They left on their own and not the other way around. My gate man is not even helping matters. Your gate man? Yes! He keeps talking about this particular woman that wanders around the compound. That's scary. What do you mean by a woman wandering around the compound? I am just as lost as you are, but that's what he keeps saying. Although I have not set my eyes on this so-called strange woman wandering the compound, eh? I've even tried to dismiss him. Because after he smokes that thing that he smokes, he says things that are not. But he's, he seems as if he's sure of what he's saying. <laughs> Why are you laughing? This is not a laughing matter. <laughs> Pardon me, my beautiful Amanda. It's very disturbing that you have allowed the submission of that drug addict to bother you. Do you really think he's acting or talking under the influence of that thing that he smokes? I don't just think. I know. You better don't allow yourself to be bothered by that your gate man. Don't ignite the fire and force me to ignite the one that will burn you. Which can no sense be this now, eh? You know no see my body temperature, you don't go up. Now this thing lady to bring it there. Where you go see make a no put fire? Your words are regarded as nothing because you smoke banned substances. I just warned you madly. 
Do not allow me to warn you the hard way. Okay. What do you do you? What do you do you? Who hey, be this woman now? What do you do you? Eh? Okay, I mean, make a smoky to have, make a give up for you. I know who smoky to all. Eh? What is wrong? Since I came back, I noticed you've been looking worried and distant. Did anything happen while I was away? No, nothing, no, nothing happened. You know I know you too well. So tell me the truth. Your husband is the cash man of this town. To tell me. Why did your ex-wives leave you? Why they left? Or why I sent them away? No woman has a capacity to live with the bundle. Okay. Uh, why did you send them away? Well... You know me well. I'm not a cruel or violent man. So I couldn't just have sent them away for no just cause. Exactly. I, I, I was, I'm just baffled. Because I know you're a very good man with a good heart. So I'm, I'm wondering why any woman would want to leave you. Why are you consistently twatting history? They did not leave me, I sent them away. Okay. Why? Why did you send them away? Tell me, please. You see, I... I don't think you should worry yourself over that. All those women are all in my past now. They were agents of darkness sent to destroy me. What? Oh, yes. After so many trials, they got exposed and I sent them packing. Okay, tell me, how did that happen? <laughs> you mean you just... You married different women at different times and just realized all of a sudden that they... They, they were witches. Witches? But the bondo man of Onichado, Akalemfa. How? <laughs> Your husband is a very powerful man. The spirits that guide me are very strong. Seriously, you have to explain. You need to tell me how it all happened. Because you, oh, you're, you're trying to tell me that you just woke up one day and the wives you married were just, just turned to witches? They all came from the same kingdom. They got caught when they wanted to ruin me. How, how did it happen? <laughs> Well, the wire been here is very deep. You won't understand. Baby, believe me, you don't have anything to worry about. They are all in my past. Really? Don't worry, Fenerman. I can Death does not give notice. No matter the cold you come from, I got you covered. Tomorrow. What are the priority things I have to attend to immediately? Well, sir, James was here during the week and he brought the bookkeeping for the warehouse at 34 Bright Street. So you need to go through the book, sir. I've already spoken to him about it. 
Let me have it. Okay. Another, another thing? These are the mails and people that checked on you while you were away. We'll, we'll talk about it. Yes? We'll keep this in And the bank lady came here to check on you too. Which of them? Annabelle Okori. Alright, um, I can't remember having an appointment with her. What did she say? She says she will check back before the week runs out, sir. Alright. Now, tell all those people waiting for me that um, I will not be giving out credit notes today. Okay. I need to clear my table and uh, attend to other hanging issues, okay? And again, um, I'll be going on an inspection to the carpet house, alright? Okay, sir. We have some loads of carpet coming in. So, I need to get to Gab right away. And again, uh, call my house, tell them I will not be in the office for lunch. I'm just coming from a visit uh, to one of my warehouses. On my way to this market, I met some people singing with your name. Oh, uh, I didn't see them, but I heard. What was it all about? Uh, nothing serious. Uh, some of those guys I give goods to on credit. You know how people can exaggerate certain things. What I did this time around was to extend the larger heart to them by giving some goods they are not expected to pay for. Udu. Udu Bondol. Have you lost it completely? Why would you do a thing like that? Oh, yeah, Chuku Gozi. Gozi, bear. Chuku Bale Christmas. Ebale one day. On your free fair, you leave fair. If you go, you I'm just expressing the way I feel in my spirit by giving. Uduwando, there is something you have to realize. These same people you are showing so much concern to, these same people you are giving your goods, expecting them not to pay back, they are the ones that will one day arrange and kidnap you. Why, why, why are you exposing yourself to risk? <laughs> kidnap Uduwando. What for? Listen to me. Kidnappers only go for those now there, yeah? those who do not give. Not for people like me who have a large heart. But brother, if God has given you, you owe it a responsibility to mankind to give. That's it. Udo, I am only advising you. As a friend, a true friend, be very careful how you go spreading money to people. Who are danger? Look, Okuru, million a day is well. In when you are there, we need to spread the wealth, not poverty. Huh? Okuru, okay. That's just it. That's a screw. Would you? Okay. Life in America was wonderful. I can tell. <laughs> Little wonder you spent almost three months. You know, at the point I thought you had relocated, or that one Akata had captured your heart. An age do do no do. They can capture somebody else, not someone like me. 
Eh, eh, Udu, go and be fed the men. I heard that you would settle Chika soon. I wasted talking about soon. It is this Sunday. Is it good? Yes. Udu Bondo. Okay. Okay, Karaka. Only I'm going to come and I'm going to come. I'm going to tell you. Hey! You say, baby? My name is You are trying. My brother. The way you settled your boy, sir, I wish I could do the same. My brother, good work deserves good reward. Easy. I have been exceptionally lucky with loyal boys. Mm. And uh, Chika is a very good boy. Yes. Tell me, what are your plans for him? Well, um, for a start, I'll give him the shop at 34 Bright Street yeah. and 5 million naira cash. Udubondo! Hey! Ime kwa ki isi eh me? Hey! On one eti lora! Moke karaka! Onye ane ebu kome mo ne mo asa! Anu paraku den jo! Onye fu ife! Naraka! 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 Yo! Udubondo! Oga balen! Hey! You are trying! Oh, madam is fine. So is a bomb one, you know. Oh, Zurufaro. They are the same everywhere. Come and show me the machine you brought. Ah, we do. It is not like you don't have them already. I'm full of people. I will let me know. I don't want to see. I don't want to see. I don't want to see. Who do bundle? Why are you not allowing us to see the boss? The bundle is not only your girl. The bundle is your zero bundle. Okay, man, we bundle in NAT. We are here to collect credit notes. We are, we are, we are. Come in, I take a job, Listen, guys, I am not preventing you guys from seeing the boss. But it's just that there is no credit note today. Madam, Maka, why? Now this guy is not here. Who's here in Bombers? No. We need the credit notes. Anyway, in that case. You guys should come back tomorrow. Maka give it. He is not giving out any credit notes. Can't you hear me? No, no, I'm boy. Hmm? I guess no matter. Nah, 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 I'm going now. Nah, nah, So someone will know you're around. You keep sneaking up on, on someone like that. What is wrong with you? Madam, sorry, I don't call me, but I didn't answer call. I know if you talk about the way they talk to me, I they talk. You no go, no go, I they call. Uh, madam, he get one missus, he did for outside gate, he said he want to see you. Missus? Eh, uh, missus. I am not expecting anyone. Who, who, who? What does she look like? Did you ask her? Who is she? Where is she from? Eh, uh, madam, I never see this missus for here before. He no know the face. But they pull out when he wear. He be like the one that woman when he the worker for company. The worker, the worker, the worker, the wear. Shut up, Musa! I am not expecting anyone. Just dismiss her. I have to do this for him. If not, those goods will be destroyed. 
Charles Gordon came with you. Almost all his papers are to the echo. And that's what these custom boys do not tolerate. Actually, I should have done this before now, but it was delayed by my trip to the United Arab Emirates. Udo, let me ask you a question. Do you really want to do this for me? Do you really want to take this kind of risk for a man like Oko? Why not? Is he no longer a friend? I can do this for an enemy. What more a friend? Well, I, I don't dispute that, but I don't think you should take such a risk for a man like Okoro. I don't think at all. Okoro is not worth that risk. Have you considered what a risk to your reputation if these customs guys hit you? I don't worry about that. I got that under my control. A lot of the custom boys are my payroll. Okuru knows that. That's why he came to me. Well, I can sell you to tread carefully. Thanks for your concern. But I can do that for a friendship. Mm -hmm. But I can sell you to tread carefully. It's okay, it's okay. So can we go now? Yeah. Yes. But I'll stop by my shop to pick. Eh, uh, madam, you are one day go. Eh? Uh, madam say you know they expect any visitor today. Ever. Go back and tell her that I know why her husband's ex-wives left. Okay, hey, say? I know you have not smoked any of your banned substances today. Okay, me nini. It sure say no be you be the person I don't the work hard, the work hard, the work hard inside this one point disease. Go and do like you are told! What is wrong with you this morning? We didn't make a full temper, make a full temper. That thing we see is when they outside, he doesn't say make a dismiss it. He say make a come back, make a tell you, say, you know why all of your wife, when he don't marry, all of them he don't go. What? What? We didn't make a innovation, not with me. The missus, he don't talk it to tell you. But then that will make a say he be one jiva. He don't know how it is. Madam, what kind of rubbish is this, Musa? Hey, madam, I leave him for here. Come, come inside. Come, come, call you. Okay. Musa, you have said smoking that rubbish that makes you hallucinate, right? You have. Hey, wait here, you. Madam, well, I. Now here it. Put it shut your mouth, stupid boy or man. I don't even know what to call you. Hey, madam, I stand for here. Me, I go stand for here. I go. Shut up. This will be the last time you try this rubbish with me. Have you heard me? How can you just call someone out and, and, and make a fool of me outside here? Are you alright? Madam Nadia is there. I said shut up. Madam Nadia is there. Nadia is there. My friend, shut up and close that gate. Nadia is there. She won't stand for you. He won't say make a go call you. Wait here you do. Eh? Wait here you do. He don't talk and say like this woman. Then they work hard, they work hard, they work hard. This woman is being weak. They say, you know, if you don't hold up my body, shut up, my arm, my arm. If you don't let them go, eh? What do you do? What do you do? You just love. Who are you? How did you get into my house? Who are you, who are you looking for? Hey, 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 hey! Don't come any closer. 
If you do, I'll call the police. What do you want? Who are you looking for? Don't do anything foolish, Amanda. You know my name? I was at your gates. She wouldn't let me in and so I let myself in. What do you want from me? Good question. What do I want from you? Amanda, I want you to leave this house. What? You must leave because you do not believe me. You must leave Udubondo immediately. Who are you? And who do you think you are to tell me what to do in my house? I am someone you don't want to see again. Do as you are told. Leave Udu. You will never have a child with me. I will never have a child with me. What are you talking about? Even if you live all your life with me, you will never have a child. But I won't let you laugh at that way. Don't make me come back here, Amanda. You will not like it if I do. Leave him. Leave him while you can. It cannot happen. I am not aware of any meeting where that decision was taken. I am not aware of any such meeting at all. I know that you are not aware of it. But I thought that you are in total support of it. Nonsense. How can I be in support of such nonsense? How can a human being support people to remove him from his office before the end of his tenure? And a me, me? They argued that they needed a man that is financially supportive and one that is credited. What kind of nonsense argument is that? No, how could you even say that? When we formed this union, we decided on what qualifies the man to be the chairman. We know what it is. There is never a time we say that any idiot that is throwing money about is qualified to be chairman. I don't know. Where did you get it from? Where is it from? You wonder, let me tell you something. This man here is a rock. I am the chairman of that union and I want you to go back to those idiots that are holding me to remove me. That it's not possible. I have to stay until the end of my tenure. This is very disgraceful. You know what? Thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate it. Just go and tell them what I said. Please, just, just go. Go to back to your shop. Thank you for coming. You see, you see what I'm saying? Udubondo has finished. Udubondo has finished. Where am I going to hide my face in this market? That I am removed from my place and Udubondo has become a chairman. And in the end, and in the end, everything is under control, sir. From her symptoms, it is obvious she suffered from a severe shock, which caused the fainting. Shock? How could that be? What did you say that happened to her? The security man told me he found her unconscious in our living room. It's alright. All she needs now is bed rest. She'll be fine. Thank you, doctor. My pleasure. Uh, can I see her now? She's still a bit unconscious and must be allowed to wake up on her own. That means I can't see her? Of course you can. But she must not be disturbed. Thank you, doctor. It's my pleasure. Hulu hulu tempa, iko hulu tempa, hulu mai tempa, kiki hulu tempa, iko hulu tempa, shiki hulu tempa, iko hulu mai tempa, iko hulu tempa. Go 
ça ici des si yeux. Mais j'ai un problème, Elise. Elle dit ce qu'elle fait, elle dit ce qu'elle fait, elle dit ce qu'elle fait. Thank you so much, you don't pay me for your thing, Gucci. What do I do you? I know you're a bad person, you know. What do I do this woman? What do I do you? You don't want to kill me, what do I do you? Hey, baby, pull over. Hey, baby, pull over. You don't pull it. Knock them, walk up. Walk up. You don't like it, walk up. Knock them walk up, shake it! Knock them walk up. Hmm? Walk up. Now he don't get it. One, two, three, he don't fold it. This way it will take me morning, afternoon and evening, but Okay. Hey, knock them walk up. Okay, basically they go for me, no credit for the last. Hey, go one, one smoke, I know who my later. Shake it. <laughs> hey, baby, pull over. Okay, baby, pull over. Neck them burger, he go there, he say, pull over, hey baby, 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 pull over, you scared nonsense, go on with this one, man, eh? Who won't come out to the team when I won't take full of my body this afternoon? Eh? Stop giving me the impression that you are a fool. Don't make me kill you before your time. <laughs> hey! This woman, you don't come back again. You don't come back. Eh? What do you do? Eh? When she wakes up, she will tell us. We're born and confused. What kind of trouble is this? Sister, yeah. sister, please open your eyes. Just let her be, let her be. In our situation in life, we are encouraged to put our trust in God. I know that her situation has something to do with the way I was feeling when I was there. Amanda is very important to me. I don't want to lose her. I believe she'll be all right. But we have to get her to experience the sacrament of holy matrimony by getting married properly to her man. Now she's living with a man in the same house without getting wedded in a church. No, we do not consider her as married. Father, I know that. But what I don't know is why Emeka has refused to wed my daughter. It's not that he doesn't have money. He can even call for a society wedding if he wants to. But why he has refused to, to, to wear that still baffles me. Well, I will continue to pray for her. But you have to do your job as a mother. Let them know that they are living in immorality by living together and not getting married first in the church. We cannot invoke God to act as God in their case. People must live according to the doctrines of God so that they can benefit from the miracles of his mercy. Is it so bad that you can't talk about it? It's not as if I don't want to talk about it. The fact is, I can't remember anything. Sister, I don't understand you. 
You fainted. And I've been here for two days now. Yet you can't tell anybody what happened. I can't remember anything. I have tried. My head, I can't remember a it single is. thing. It's okay. Don't stress yourself, okay? Get well first. Hi, darling. Doctor says we can take you home today. Home? No, 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 no. I don't want to go back to that house, please. Don't even mention it. I don't want to go. Sister Amanda. Eh, hey, hey, be gone. Don't call me. I don't want to go back to that house. Why don't you want to go home? home. Oh. I know it's my home, but I don't want to go back. I'm scared. Yes. I don't know. I just don't want to go back, please. Let me stay here. Hello, Mama. Um, Chiamaka. The priest has blessed holy oil for her. Would you come to pick it up? Mama, she's okay now. I don't think we need the anointed oil. Chiamaka, please. You need the oil. Come back and pick it up. Your sister is up against some spiritual forces and she needs the oil. Be cool. Okay, ma'am. I will see what I can do. Okay. I am as surprised as you are. Believe me. I did not see this coming. But why would they take this kind of decision without consulting any of us? Seriously. It beats me. From what I heard, they are looking for a chairman who can support the union financially and one who is credible. Oh, come on. Forget this our trade union people. Anyway, I, I don't think they are serious. Not when they have already sent me a letter demanding my immediate resignation. To that? Yes. This is serious. They could have allowed me to at least accept the offer. Wait a minute. Are you confirming to me that you have not accepted? Where? Because the letter I got didn't state that. But from what I read, they said you have accepted. That they're just waiting for me to resign so that they can organize your inauguration. Are you saying you have not accepted? Oh, how could you ask me that? That's politics. That's politics. I, I can remember vividly that two of the executives mentioned something like that to me before I went to Dubai. And I told them to maintain the status quo until I get back. And I forgot entirely about it until now you mentioned it. Okay. Now that it has become this serious, what are you going to do? Because it is very clear that every single body, every single person in that executive is already bought. Going by the way you have gone around throwing money in the whole of Anichado. Oh, come on. Don't talk like that. This is something we can sort out. Don't be judgmental. You've already found me guilty. Listen to me. We have come way back. But I get to go. You must not allow this trade union you know, thing coming between us. Nothing like this must be allowed to strain our relationship. I couldn't have them throw you out like that and take your position. What for? I can't go more deeper. We must find a way of sorting this out. But I don't think this is the right way to go about it. my house. Mama asked me to make sure I rub the oil everywhere so that any evil force around will be chased away. Who on earth told you I have evil forces in my house? Mama thinks so. Mama thinks so. 
What have you been telling her? Me? Nothing, no sister, nothing. Come on, will you stop rubbing that rubbish right now? What is your problem? I'm still talking to you, you're going ahead painting my house with trash. What's wrong with you? Are you alright? I'm sorry, sister. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Sister, what is going on? I know you can talk to me. You've been acting strangely since that fainting incident. I there's there's nothing wrong. I I I, I guess I'm still traumatized. That's it. Not nothing. Sister, I have this funny feeling that you are trying to hide something from me, and even from Mama. <laughs> Why would I lie to you? I fainted. Nothing more. I haven't rested in a long time. I, you know I work too hard, so that's it. Really? You want me to believe that, sister? You want me to lie to you? There's no other logical reason why I should faint. It's just, I just need to rest a lot more. Okay. Yeah. If you say so, then I believe you. I love you, sister. Hey! <laughs> I love you too, but don't touch me. Just take it far away from me. Let me go. Okay. Madam, this one is not tall, is not short. It just did. Yeah. And the one you said that wanders outside the gates. Okay, okay. Madam, that one, I know they come again. That one, I can't look for you there. That I know they come again. I mean, the one you just described, is she the same person that's been looking for me? Okay, uh, Madam, eh. Uh, if I bring them together, eh, they won't resemble. Eh? But the other one, eh, they walk out for the compound. That one, I eh, you know the two show in face. That one, before I know, I eh, don't disappear. Okay. Eh, but madam, any problem? I just said no problem. Eh, we won't know whether I, mean, I find them for you, madam. Because that day, na I won't call you, madam. If you see my dad, you don't see him now. You know one telling me say you don't see him because me I don't chop a slam. She didn't tell me. In fact, I didn't even know when she left the house. I know that something is done with Amanda. That's why I sent you there to monitor and take care of her. Now you don't even know where she is. I can only try. Don't forget that she's married and is living with her husband. I am just a younger sister, Mama. A husband that is hardly at home with her? Since you got there, how many times have you seen a make at home? Hmm? You're right, Mama. He is hardly at home. 
It is either one business or another. I will just call her later. <laughs> okay, bye, Mom. Mama, we always forget that we are up adults now. She will always wants to control us as if we are still children. You don't see. What is the meaning of that? Who is this strange woman? I am convinced I saw a ghost. I can swear on that. You're speaking too late. Why didn't you say this all this while? You don't believe me? I was completely lost. It was just this afternoon I had flashes of the events and I called my gate man. He confirmed that it's that same woman that's been moving around the compound. Jesus. What are you going to do now, my friend? Do you think it's one of Emika's ex-wives? No, 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 I don't think so. She cannot be. Because she says she knows the reason why they left. If she was one of them, she couldn't have referred to them as they. You're right. I think you should let your husband know about it. I mean, he needs to know. The truth is that the more I try to understand you, the more confused I get. Why haven't you spoken about this all this while? Baby, I told you I was completely lost. I couldn't remember anything up until this afternoon. I see. Well, the description of the woman you said you saw, I don't know her. And I've not had anything to do with any woman of such description. Why then did she tell me to leave you? Strange. 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 How did she know you were married before? She also claimed to know why your ex-wives left. She knows you very well. She says that... Enough. Enough of this nonsense. Can you listen to yourself? That a ghost came to my house? How long have you been here? Three years plus, and you're talking this rubbish. I know what I'm saying. I know what I am saying. I saw her. You can ask the gate man, he can bear me witness. Oh. See what you're doing to yourself. You have degenerated to the level of having discussions with the gate man. The same gate man, you know, smokes Indian hemp. Very disappointed in you. It's not it, all. because the gate man came to me and told me he saw her. I didn't believe him until she came to me. I saw her. I know what I'm saying. I'm telling you the truth. You know what? I think you're fast losing it. Put a check on it before you lose it completely. There's nothing you're hiding. Now, or if I should instruct you now to define point, are you not going to fumble? Can you define point? You sound as if you're angry. Are you angry already? Of course I'm very angry. Very angry because you are changing the rule of the game in the middle of the game. Why must you refer to my own enemy as a nice man? I'm not comfortable with that at all. Apart from the brief you gave to me about him, do you have another brief to add? Listen to me. Because of his so-called niceness, I am now standing the risk of losing out as the chairman of Amalgamated Traders Union of Furniture. I will lose that as the, as the chairman because of his niceness. And now my own sheep, my own person that I brought into, into the business as my partner to assist me pull him down is now beginning to see him as, as, as a nice man. 
What nonsense? Sorry now. You better be. You better be. Let me tell you something, Lizzie. Time is what I don't have. And you have to get down to business. Because that man must go down. I'm a professional in this. Even my own enemies do give it to me that I am deadly. Ever since your so-called enemies started giving it to you that you are deadly, have you made money? The answer is no, because you are just a wreck. Now I want you to bring out that deadly element in you. Prove to me that you are absolutely deadly and you are going to see money. And I want you to understand that you don't have time. Okay? jobs in the world. That's the only one she indicated interest in. Well, she seems happy with it. She's very beautiful. Have you noticed that about her too? Oh. 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 Mind yourself. Look, I can have one second. Leave these girls alone. Let them go and get married. Leave this man alone. They were confusing you. I won't get. I'm a man's soul. Hey, hey, hey. 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 Do that. You can see I have a visitor. Okay. And please, the right thing to do is you must clean my office before I get here. No, 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 no. Don't go anywhere. Udu, no need to send her out. It is still too early for us to start discussing this married people. Let me go to my shop. I will come back later for us to discuss. Oh. Let her continue her kitchen. Go ahead, Nadia. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Udu, go ahead. information you need it's in there. Serious. Thank you very much. You don't know what this means to me. It means a lot to me. I think we should start going as soon as possible. We? Oh, there is no we here. I've done my part. You don't think I will go looking for those women with you. Oh, pretty please. Don't let me do this alone. Come with me please. Amanda. There is no way I'm going with you. Hell no. Remember I was not in support of this in the first place. And now you want to drag me along? 
I'm begging you, please. Amanda, I have already incurred enough problem for myself. That Jack has not stopped calling me. I mean, that's enough problem for me to handle. I'm not going anywhere with you. I'm sorry. And I mean it. All right. Thank you very much for this. I think I should step into my shop. I'm sure. Thank you. Okoro, I don't know why you are bothered. Udu will never accept that post. Udu is already going to accept. What are you talking? You will never do that. Udu will never do that to you. What are you even thinking? That I am bothered because of the letter I was served? No way. I was with Udu yesterday and we spoke at length. From what he said, it is so clear to me that he is going to accept that post. Now, he is going to accept or he has already accepted. Which one? What are you saying? What's your problem? No, that, that, that he is going to accept or that he is yet to. What difference does it make? Oh, it makes a whole lot of difference. Udu, we never do that to you. I've told you that before. Listen, he already knows that these people are only trying to show appreciation for the things he has done for them. He was supposed to make them understand that he was doing all those things, not because he wanted to curry any favor, nor is it because he was looking for any uh, sort of uh, recognition. Omenka Flonaya, I remember telling you that Udu has ulterior motives. Behind all these things he has been doing, throwing money at people. And you refuse to listen to me. You know, is it not clear now? Is it not? And up till now, I still do not believe this. You know, what these people are trying to prove to me is that Udu is more credible than me. Isn't it? To them, Udu has clean slate. And I have skeleton in my cupboard. My brother, don't talk like that. Don't talk like that. Listen, okay, we are going to sort this thing out. I don't want these people to put a strain on you, our lifelong relationship. We will sort it out, certainly. But don't bother yourself. Udu has ruined me completely. So provocating into your office. <laughs> Why? <laughs> this one is rather imagined and discussed. Anyway, let's talk about why I'm here. You can deal with this as of a of it later. My brother, you sounded so worried. What is it? Uh, yes. Is this a Jamashi saga in our union? My brother. <sighs> These people are on my neck. They would ha not have. No for an answer. 
This one is a very big temptation. But everyone knows that uh, Okoro is your very good friend. Why would they want to set you against each other? Be careful. And, uh, but I plan, I'm sure that you're not planning to accept it. I have made it clear to all of them that we would rather wait until Okoro's tenure ends. But they would not listen to that. They make it look like an uh, Amwelego name, a guy. That's why I'm turning down their request. What nonsense request? Were you not here when they voted Okuru into power? Were you not? What do these people want? What are they after? I don't know. I don't know, but I need you to advise me on how to handle this. Well, my simple advice is don't accept it. No matter the pressure, don't accept it. Although Okuro can be annoying sometimes, you know, we're not our friend, but he's still our friend. Still our friend. We should always stand behind him and watch his back. Oh yeah, sorry. The only situation beyond man is death. That's true. I don't think that Banka can hear you. So I think what I will do is to employ some wisdom. I'll see the way I can handle it so that nobody's hurt. But I think there must be a compromise. I'm worried, I'm worried. It does not work that way, boss. So how does it work? I have to gradually build myself up to him. There must be this level of closeness between us before I strike. Listen to me, Lizzie. There is something you don't understand. I don't have time at all. Amalgamated Trade Union of Onechado is the biggest and the highest trade union in the whole of Africa. Because of the money we control, the money we generate on a daily basis in the union. And I am the chairman. I am the one that sits on that mountain of money as the chairman of the union. And suddenly that idiot is making plans to take over from me as the chairman and you sit here telling me nonsense. I want that plan of his to stop. Wait, let me ask you something. Since this man is your friend, why not allow him to take over from you? Since the union members insist they want him. Wait, one. Lizzie, you have committed an abomination by that thing you said now. How can you say that? Do you know how disgraceful it, it, it is going to be that a whole me, Okuloka of Onishado, has been removed from office so that one idiot that became relevant by throwing money around will take over? In this water, we are not going to hide. Oh, yeah. Hey, I didn't say that to you. I'm sorry. But I understood it better now. No. Beautiful. Now I want you to unleash the Jezebel in you and get that man destroyed. I want him destroyed faster than immediately. I'm trying. Remember that I'm only but a cleaner in that office. A cleaner with a class. Not just any cleaner. Cleaner with class. That's the difference. I know you can do what I want you to do. But can't you handle this any other way? I mean, this man is your friend. You can talk to him about your concerns. I believe he will understand you. He's a nice person. Lizzie, why do I have this nauseating feeling that you're going to disappoint me in this case? What's the matter with you? Why are you sounding like broken record? Why are you growing cold suddenly? What's the problem? I'm saying this because he's your friend. This might destroy the relationship we have with this man if he eventually finds out. Lizzie, can you spare me this sermon, please? Please, forget the relationship. This man is my friend. Thank you very much. Not yours. My friend. Now leave me to decide how I want to handle my friend. And that way is the way I have already briefed you. Are you going to do it? Tell me, yes or no? Well... I've started, right? I have to finish what I've started. Pera, finish what you've started and leave me to do my part. Listen to me, I am going to lift you up to that place where you will be with the stars up there. That's where you belong. It is money they use in making people stars and I am sitting on a mantle of it. We're going to make you star. Do your turn. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I will go back 
I'm coming for him. <laughs> yes, come in. Elizabeth, sir. are you always this excited? <laughs> sir, I have every reason in this whole wide world to be. Sir, so you're a nice man. I hope you know that. I've never seen anyone as nice as you are in my life. Really? Yes! So why does my ever excited employee think so? Sir, two days after I resumed work, you gave me a lot of money to shop for my clothes. As if that was not enough. You've paid me my salary before the due date. Oh, well, um, I paid your colleagues already, so it was only natural that I paid you. It's not a big deal. Ah! It's a big deal, oh! Sir, it is a big deal. So employers will not do that. You must work for a whole month before you get your pay. So we'll not even pay because of one flimsy excuse on another. Well, a worker deserves his wages and on time too. You see? You see why I said you're different? Sir, you are different. You're a nice man. <gasps> Sir, you are so wonderful. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm so sorry, sir. It's okay. It's I'm sorry. Forgive me. I was just too excited like you. Okay. I'm still sure. Okay, sir. Oh, um, sir. I I go ahead to continue my work now. All right. All right, sir. Thank you, sir. I don't think there's anything abnormal about their request. You don't? Yes. I mean. You've always been generous to them. Besides, you've always been supportive of that union, so there's nothing wrong. Yes. Mm. What a horror. I don't want him to be disgraced out of office like that. Who is Oko? <laughs> that womanizer. <laughs> Sweetheart, please. I do not belong to your union, but sometimes I just sit and wonder how on earth he got to that position because I know that there are credible men in that union that deserve that post, not him. He might be a womanizer. Mm. He might also be stingy. Stingy? Did you just say stingy? Just like that. Stingy is an understatement. That guy is, hey, the highest Akara guy there is. But back, we really. Yeah, but he has his good sides too. What good side? What are you talking about? Mm, please. Anyway, you sought for my advice and I'm giving you. And that is? It is such an honor for a group like that to come to you on their own to present such an honorable request. If it's something you think you can do, go ahead. Don't think about it. But if not, let it be that you cannot carry their responsibilities and not because of what your friend Okoroka will think. Well, I'm only thinking about my relationship with him. What relationship? What has that got to do with anything? He will understand. Then forget that one, it's not an issue. Besides, he knows that you did not lobby for the post. You were on your own and they made you an offer. Hmm? Yes, mm. you have a point there, mm. but uh, I am supposed to look out for him. <laughs> there are several other ways, plenty. Besides, does he look out for you? Have you asked yourself if he does? <laughs> I don't know what my friend has done to you. I don't know why you hate him so much. See, left to me alone. That your friend will not be coming to this house. <laughs> my wife does not like my have, friend. Have said anything. <laughs> he won't just be coming to this house. It is just my my, my decision to make. Hey, why don't you like my friend? I haven't said anything. <laughs> anyway, just think about it. Hmm? Think about it carefully, and I trust you to make the wise decision. I told you, I will come back, okay? Maybe tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. I mean... Hey! Who do? Papa, I'm going! I'm going to go to the power! What is it? Hey! 
I'm really sorry for the short notice, but I figured out it would be better on a Sunday like this, when our heads are not full of business. I don't have any problem with that. You know, my house is equally your house. You can come anytime you want. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, I have been waiting for you to talk about it again, but I don't think you will ever do. It's about this, our trade you don't think. I have come for us to take a decision on how to handle it. I don't know what you want me to say or what you want me to do, my brother. In as much as I find it very difficult to understand why our trade union people will treat me like this after three years of service. But the truth of the matter is that I cannot force myself on them. It is indeed a pity. I know you're a very good leader. So it beats me why they would wake up one day and take such a decision. And it's not as if some are for you and some are against you. No. They all seem to be singing the same song. And that is because they say they are looking for a credible man to be their chairman and you are the one they have found. Oh, come on. Don't talk like that. You're a credible leader. I, I think there's more to it. That's why I have come for us to talk. They have given me three weeks to accept the offer. So it's a threat now. Are they going to force you to accept the offer to become the chairman just the same way they want to force me out of the office? They are pleading. Last Sunday, they were all at my house. All the executive members pleading. Udubandu, these people are being too money conscious. I know why they are doing this. Considering the way you go throwing money all around, throwing money around, who wouldn't want to have you as the chairman? Sincerely, my brother, these people are concerned with what they can gain from you. Okuloka, being a chairman is not just about throwing money about using your words. It involves more responsibilities. So what then is the problem? Go ahead and accept the offer from them. What about you? I don't just want these guys to deal with you anyhow. So that's why I've come for us to find a middle ground so that no one is cheated or disgraced. <laughs> You make me laugh when you sound this way. Sincerely, I have decided not to say anything about this because I already accepted my fate. The same people I have served diligently for years will just wake up one morning and say they don't want me. I don't know why. And I, 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 I don't want to question their decision. I don't know. I, I, I didn't steal their money. I didn't abuse the office. So I don't know what their reasons are. Is it because of my women? That's my personal life. It's not supposed to be anything of, of, of concern to them. My take on this is, if they have decided to have you as the chairman, please, my brother, go ahead and accept the offer. Sincerely, I don't have any problem with that. I take it that this is from your heart? Of course, it's from my heart. Because I believe if you are there as the chairman, then I am the one who is there. <laughs> but you will do me one favor. 
I want you to wait until the end of the three weeks they gave you before you accept that offer. Why do you ask for such? Because I know these people. And they know how we value our friendship. By making that offer to you, they want to end it. And if you, are, if, if you accept what I just said and wait until the end of three weeks before you accept that offer, you are indirectly giving them notice that you are not in a hurry to end that friendship. Even as you are waiting, I also want you to advise them occasionally to have a rethink on this their decision to have Opoloka removed from office. It is not as if I will eventually decide again to go back to that office. No. But when you tell them that, it will make them understand you value our friendship deeply. You have a point. I think I would leave it till the end of three weeks. I can comfortably do that. Is it not why I said you are the best? I know you will agree. <laughs> <laughs> I know you will agree. Oh, no, okay. Oh, no, okay. Oh, no, okay. My man, go, 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 go. It's just well with you. It's well with you, right? My man. I can't believe you're saying this. I just told you that this man almost saw me out there when he drove in. Almost, you said. Almost. Not that he saw you. Can you understand from that that what you are saying is of no importance? It's not relevant. I want us to talk, please. All I'm saying is that you could have told me that he was coming so that I could coordinate my movement. But yeah, I didn't know he was coming. I got to know when he was almost here. Listen to me. The important thing is that he did not see you. So can you understand that what you are saying is not important? I want us to plan. I want us to talk. Nah, man. I'm just tired of this whole thing. I, I, I wish this whole thing can just come to an end so I can leave this country. I can't continue to live this kind of hide and seek life. Exactly my point. Now, we have just three weeks. Three weeks to execute the plan we have and then you will leave this country. Why? Three weeks? Three weeks is such a short time. Can you hear yourself? You are the one that just told me now that you cannot wait to leave this country. And suddenly, you are the same person telling me that three weeks is so short a time to execute plans. What is the matter with you? Listen to me. That idiot is going to accept that offer to be the chairman of the union. And that is what I want to stop. You have three weeks to strike. And let me tell you, you must read my lips. You must strike before the end of three weeks. Uh, has he decided to accept the offer? I always knew he would accept, only that I didn't know the time. But today he confirmed to me that in the next three weeks he is going to accept that offer. I had to give him my support because I knew that he would have been destroyed completely by the time we had done with the plans. Hmm. It means that um, I have to fast forward everything. That's the, that, that's the word. Fast forward everything. Now listen to me. If you can execute our plan faster than immediately, it will be appreciated. Making him fall for me. Sleep with me. And then, and then I, I claim that I am pregnant. It's not going to work in three weeks. What is your plan B, boss? Why do you endlessly give me this impression that your brain is packed with pap? Must I be the one telling you everything? Listen to me. You are the one that must come up with something. That evil man is out to destroy me. He is out to dislodge me. And you have to come up with something. 
I want his name to be dragged in the mud so that he can go out of circulation. We have to figure out something to do. Something that will make him go out of circulation. And you have just three weeks to do that. Now, if you cannot come up with something tangible, it simply means that I have no reason whatsoever calling you my Lizzie and my Jezebel. I am simply your Lizzie, whom you're going to send to Las Vegas Boulevard. I am not a Jezebel, and I will never be. Whatever. But you, you must have to come up with something that will make me believe anything. Fast. But I'm serious, girl. What kind of game are you people playing? I went to the boutique. The girls there told me, Madame is at the supermarket. Now I am here. You say, Madame went to the boutique. So a whole Udubondo, you have turned me to a Ruplin Turner. Where is your Madame? Has she been here today? Uh, Madame was here this morning, but she left before noon. Did she say where she was going to? No, no sir, she didn't tell us anything. She only asked us to take care of the shop. Because sir, maybe she had an emergency. Emergency that Amanda cannot tell me about? What is Amanda telling you? You're not taking it nicely. Do you still want to go see the other woman? Is it not enough sad news for the day? I, I do not believe any of the things she said. I just couldn't connect with her story. Then why not go home? Or, or you still want to go see the other woman? Who, who knows? Her story might even be more annoying. I have already set out to see them today. Let me finish what I started. Just... I don't want to disturb the priest again. Because he said that my daughter is sinfully living with the man. There is no way he can invoke the power of God. No, madam. I don't think he understood the priest very well. He is praying for her just as he is praying for everyone. I believe God will answer at his appointed time. Amen. My daughter is living under the influence of some spiritual forces. They've closed her eyes and her ears. I don't know what to do. Madam, keep praying for her. I believe God will finally show why he is God. God is God. He is not man. Why do you seek to know why I left him? What makes you think I'm willing to tell you that? Because you're a woman like me. Too many things are happening. A lot of things have happened. I need answers. Strange things like what? Your inability to have children? You know, I thought yours was different. I never knew you were unable to have children. What are you talking about? My friends asked why I left. They all thought I was crazy. My parents in particular were mad at me. No one understood what I was going through. No one could believe that the man I got married to was not whom everyone believed him to be. My dear, I strongly believe Udubondo is a member of a deadly occult. So many strange things that I cannot even talk about happened in that house. One of which was my inability to have children. It was medically proven that I could conceive and Uduku father a child. But we were unable to have children. 
So I went as far as getting someone to impregnate me. Just in case the medical reports were, were not right. Something told me to avoid Udu. I resisted him for three months. Giving him excuses whenever he comes to me. But that night, my resistance got broken. I allowed him in. And that was it. I lost the pregnancy. Oh my God! I needed no prophet to tell me my husband was a compromised man. Hmm. So I left. So you got married after you left his house? It was a tough decision. For Udu allowed me access to money. Real money. I told myself the truth. Money is not everything. I left all the money and riches and moved on with my life. Look at me now. I have three children in the present manner with me. Hmm. Madam Cheta, <clears throat> I want to ask you a question. When you were in Udu's house, did you encounter any strange woman? You know, funny woman that probably told you to leave the house. Strange woman? Yes. No, I didn't. Though I felt like someone was watching me in that house, but I never encountered anyone in person. Like I said, so many strange things happened in that house. A lot. A lot. experience that kind of thing. I'm not arguing with you, pretty. I am not. It's just that Udu has to tell me what's going on with him. He has to tell me what has been happening. He has to say something. Just take it easy. Don't allow this to break your home. <laughs> I wish I had a home. I have everything, but I don't have peace of mind. And how is that a home? Please, just take it easy. Coming from the supermarket. I have been there four times today. The last visit I paid to your shop was about 20 minutes ago, so I ask again, where are you coming from? You don't want to see the other side of me, do you? Have you been playing around in this small town of Wanaja where I rule as king? How dare you think of such a thing? Then where the hell have you been? Where were you all day? You couldn't take your calls? Neither could you return. What were you doing? I went to see your ex-wives. You heard me right. I went to see your ex-wives. 
you went to see my ex-wives. What for? How did you even find them? Emeka, please. You and I know I'm not an illiterate. I needed answers, so I found a way. You needed answers? You needed to see them? For what? Emeka, you claim we have everything we need in this marriage. We have money, we have this, we have that. Yes, we can have children. What do you mean by I needed what? I needed answers. So I went to see them. You went to see them because we don't have children or what? Emeka, you have a lot of explaining to do. You had better start talking. Because from what I heard today, everything is going to have a negative effect on this marriage. Excuse me. Those are angry women. I have told you how I sent them away. You of all people should know that they can fabricate anything just to make sure our marriage fails. Why did you even go to them? Why are we unable to have children? We've only been married for three years. Have we not seen our doctor? Emeka, with what I heard today, I don't think we'll have one even if we spend eternity together. Really? I wonder what those angry birds, those daughters of Jezebel have fed you with. See, you have to admit it was a mistake going to them first. Look, they want your marriage to fail. Don't you get it? I am so worried. I'm so worried the worry is going to drive me crazy. Sweetheart, you don't have to worry. What should matter to you is that you have a husband who loves you. You have enormous wealth to take care of anything you need. You have comfort. And very soon children will come. I want you to be happy all the time. Because the bundle man of Onichado has you covered, baby. Worry for them. Do you know the problem with most of you men? You believe once you have gone down with a woman, you can always have her whenever you want. Oh, come off it, pretty. I am not one of such men. I don't have that belief. The truth of the matter is, whenever I remember the wonderful moments we've spent together, I feel in my spirit, in my soul, that you are the one for me. Can't you say? You're still drinking beer. Am I not the one that taught you how to drink it? <laughs> this is getting interesting. Oh, do you know what makes you think you can have me for gifts? Have you forgotten what you did? One thing they say for sure is permanent, and that is change. The one sitting before you here is a different person from the one you used to know. That one was a monster, but this one is a monk. Please give the monk a chance to prove his love to you. I'm a woman who has seen it all. You cannot weaken me with your classless lines. Did you say classless? Troll back. Remember all the wonderful moments we spent together. When we traveled to the Belizean island, even when we traveled to Cape Town. And I sure do you can remember why they still call me. Obi Chilus on a Cape Town. Come on, think of it. Give me a chance. <laughs> Sir, it seems as if you have forgotten we have 80 million naira worth of lace in the Fort Way house. No, please. I haven't forgotten. I was only waiting for the right opportunity to dispose of the goods. 
I think the opportunity is here. There is this age of in men line that can set them off in one month. Age of I don't know him. Uh, okay. Ask Ijama to investigate him and uh, do me a memo on that. Okay. Thank you. Right. Thank you very much. Okay. Why barge into my office without notice? Sir, uh, I have something to discuss with you, sir. Where is Ijama? She has gone out for her lunch break. So who is at the reception? Please is there with other people that is waiting for Ijama to, to give them credit here to come and see you, sir. So, what is this thing you want to discuss with me? Mm, it was that yesterday, I... When I... you have refused to go with me. Chica will be very disappointed. I thought you settled this. I don't feel like traveling to the village. I'll call him. Or better still, see him when he gets back. Hmm? Alright. Do take care of yourself while I'm out. I will. Bye. Drive safe. Call me when you get there. So you're not just a graduate, you also have a master's degree certificate added to this. Uh, 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 no, 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 no. Not just a master's certificate, but one from the prestigious London School of Economics and Political Science. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Tell her, baby. <laughs> Tell him already. <laughs> she has to know. <laughs> so what's our lady from the prestigious London School of Economics and Political Science planning to do? Well, um, I'm just here on a brief visit and also to spend some time with my homegirl. That's me, the one and only Annabelle. <laughs> and afterwards, I will go to Lagos and take up the job that has already been prepared for me. Mm. Wow. You sound like you've gotten everything all planned out. <laughs> my girl is highly connected. Oh, come Can on, Annabelle. You know how I roll. I know. I don't have time for them hustlers. Uh. I love them big. I love them. Like always. <laughs> so come on, babe, tell me, what's up? What's going on? How is the marketing job going? Um, it's been good so far, but you know, we're still waiting for the best. But, but some folks say that this job of yours exposes women to prostitution oh, please, and all please, of please, that. Please, 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 
babe. Don't even go there. Those folks are allowed to think whatever they want to think. Me? Who care? That's nah. my girl. No. Whatever, whatever, <laughs> I saw me, I just want to explore this town. Meanwhile, here's um, Sean Israel's back by God for you. For real? Oh my God, that's my girl. I don't know about two for seven, man. <laughs> I got you something as well. Oh, really? Cool. This one is a Ducasby shoe. I like shoes. <laughs> Oh, my Lizzie, my shake. <laughs> my Jezebel, my everything. <laughs> you know, I never knew you were this smart. You are such a wonderful actress, and I am impressed with you. <laughs> I told you, I told you I was going to deliver, didn't I? You did. And you delivered, the, you executed the plan in a perfect way. I am very impressed with you, my dear. <laughs> so, what is going on in the market now? The news is everywhere. Not only in the main market, but all over on the shadow, the news is everywhere that the bundle of all people are tempted to rape his cleaner in his office. Look, can you feel the shame? <laughs> of all his employees, he chose his cleaner. Very disgraceful. And let me tell you something that is already planned. Tomorrow, our local Ado Light newspaper will publish it. They will print the kind of quantity they never printed before. I must destroy that man. Who is Udo Bondu to attempt to dislodge me in the same market we flooded? A buy in the echo. Or the one easy. So out of our main target, the, the union, what are they saying? You know, my dear. This union issue that came up actually gave me the opportunity to deal with the bundle. The truth of the matter is that I had always wanted to destroy that man. The bundle was easy, easy. And why this look? This whole thing is not about him taking a position from you in the union. Listen, my dear. Udubondo has destroyed me. Nobody respects me anymore because of the way he goes about throwing money at people. Can you imagine that one idiot actually had the audacity to look me in the face and told me that my time has expired, that Udubondo is now the main man? These are the kind of insults I keep getting. And I ask myself, why in this world would I allow this idiot to function? freely. With what just happened, he will be forced to retreat to his chair where he will hide forever and give me the space to function freely as I used to do. I'm a mobile I'm a Trust the main market members. They will not stop at anything in robbing it in. I pity him anyway. No. Why, why would you say a thing like that? You don't need to show pity to an idiot that came to destroy me. I am the mafia, the lead mafia of Onishado. We are the owners of this land. What are you saying? Anybody that wants me to go down will be the one that will go down himself. What are you saying? <laughs> I am a bundi mo boda. I am So now that the whole thing is over, can I have my ticket to Las Vegas? Oh, Lizzie, why the rush? My name is Okuloka Milidubu. If I don't keep on that day, listen to me. I am a man with contacts, a man that sits on a mountain of money. I am not shaking. My promise is to send you to Las Vegas Boulevard. I am committed to it. Just don't worry. Before you say yeah, your ticket will be over. You fly down to Las Vegas where you are going to meet somebody that will rock you. You want me to believe you? Emeka, how do I believe you? What do you take me for? Do I look like your child? When everything is just in the papers, and the news is all over the papers, you expect me to believe you? What is that? It was a setup. How? How do I believe you? How do the people believe you? Eh, Mecca? 
Emeka, why? Why? What did I do to deserve this disgraceful act from you? Eh? Where, where, where do you want me to hide my face? Where do you want me to hide my face for God's sake? Even if you wanted to cheat, even if you wanted to be with another woman, not in this shameful manner. I don't know why you're finding it difficult to believe me. Huh? Huh. Have I ever cheated on you? Why would I start it now? And in this manner too? That question should be yours. That question you just asked me now should be yours, Emeka. Why would you cheat on me and why in this manner? I am so disappointed to say the least. Sudan. Sudan. I should have known that that girl came on a mission. Why didn't it occur to me? after me. What have I done to anybody? Could it be in your wife's wives? What did you want? Good bundle. You don't have to tell me. I know that already. But the question here is, why would this happen? I am as lost as you are. That girl came as somebody who badly needed a job. Oh, my Jack, I may interview on this table. I want to be a cleaner, I want to be a house help. I should have used my village sense to know she was here on a mission. I don't know why this should happen, but... Who is after me? Udu, take this like a man. It is true the news is all over the place, but I believe with time it will die out. Don't allow it bother you much. Thank you very much. As for the union, everybody's pained and have decided to withdraw the offer made to you for now, pending when this situation on ground would, would calm down. It is very understandable. Yes, no problem. In fact, my brother, that is the least of all the problems I have. But I appreciate you for coming. Have dialogue. Welcome. Um, uh, let me run now. I've not opened my shop. I just let me come and see you. Let me go. I'll see you later. My brother. Hello. I'll see you later. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I'll let you Well. People and papers would always write events. They were the what? But what I just told you is exactly what happened. Nothing more, nothing less. But Udu, you were actually trying to blow her eyes. You're Kena in your office. I can't understand that. Why would you want to do a thing like that? In this world, would you do a thing like that? Well, that's not even the point. Udu, in his usual niceness, was only trying to help her. How about, let me even ask something. Her being a cleaner, does it make her less a human being? Oh, kind of man. Obviously, my argument is very valid. Being nice does not pay. Oh, beautiful, sweet, business was excellent. In fact, I was thinking of coming back home to celebrate with my people. 
But coming to this kind of news is, is not pleasant at all. My brother, what can we do? Because who is this girl? Who is she? A nobody. A nobody that he was trying to give a life. A nobody at all. Now tell me, now that he has done this, what does she stand to gain? Why are we discussing this? Why? It is very clear. This cleaner was hired by somebody to do what she did. That's exactly what I think. But she was hired by who? Udu here is the one that will help us. To know. Udu, who did you offend? Exactly my confusion. I can't me. think of anyone. Well, if you ask me, that girl did not need a job. When we're all on our job, she is an agent planted just for that mission. mission. But that one is very certain. It's clear. Gentlemen, I am not as concerned about what people say or think as I am about the way my wife is reacting. Women, eh, her reaction is natural. Uh, don't, 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 don't let that bother you. Her reaction is about to shatter me. She's threatening to leave. Uh, Uti, listen, I know this is a very serious matter, but I still believe your wife should believe you. Mm. Considering the fact that she knows the kind of man she married. Mm. This is Udu Bondo we are talking about. Udu, do not let her reaction disturb you. She is going nowhere. Huh? I know women. I believe so too. Yes, yes. Well, I'll try to try to make up the steps. Yeah, one name she else. She is going nowhere. Okay. Do not let that bother you. Yeah? And, uh, uh, let us drink and be merry. Oh, it's a small thing. Amanda, are you out of your mind? Don't even think of that at all. I should never think of what. This kind of shame is too much for me to bear. Would leaving your husband take away the shame? Or are you planning to take your life away? God forbid. Exactly. So living or not living is not changing. Your husband needs you now. He needs me. Pretty, did you see him need? Yes. Did he think of me when he did what he did? Oh, Amanda. You surprised me. So you don't trust your husband? Please, trust is not the issue here. Trust is not the issue here. In this case, trust is everything. All this while you've been with him, have you ever had any reason to suspect him? Did you ask yourself that question? So why would you think he would sleep with a common cleaner? I don't know. I don't know, Peter. I don't know what to think anymore. For crying out loud. Udubandu is a very rich man. He can even have the classiest and most influential woman if he wishes to. So why would he stoop so low as to raping a common cleaner? I mean, I'm not saying we should vote for him when it comes to relations with women. But in this case, no. Again, what happened? One of his trusted account keepers, please, saw it. Other people saw it too. What are you talking about here? Do you think it's easy? Let them claim to have seen whatever they said they, they saw. But you need to listen to your husband's version of the story. This is a setup. You need to stand by your husband. You need to listen to him. It's easier said than done. I don't think I can live with this kind of shame. Don't worry. This will pass. There's a saying that says this will pass. And I believe this will also pass. It's just a matter of months, and everything will be forgotten. Wow. My Elizabeth, my 
my shame. I can't believe you are still wearing this disguise. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I have been calling all day. You did not take my course. Why? Hey, because I have been busy. I'm so sorry. I just came down to take some Lego and attend to some of the messages that I have. It is a Sunday boss. What could you have been busy doing that you could not ask Lito and say hello on the phone? Do you realize how risky it was for me to walk down the street? Oh. I can't believe you. Lizzie I've been telling you about. Oh. Why is she standing? Come, come and sit down. Please, make yourself comfortable. I guess you were right when you said you have been busy all day. Indeed, you've been busy. Really, really busy. And don't you only put a corner there, she be your girl. Leave this girl, Lizzie. She's not her. Everything is under control. Just come down. <laughs> Honey. Nothing that happened. Baby, that babe is not as basic as you told me. How? I mean, you have to come up with your game. Before she unlocks you with brutality, Unprecedented. And you just face the one that concerns you? Leave us to handle the ones that concern us. That one. Nothing. Oh, what do you want to do? Take something like that. 